Hello everybody, my name is RV Last and welcome back to another game of Sunrider Mask of Arcadius. It's been like forever since I played this game and I do apologize. I, I don't know what, I don't know why. Welcome to research okay. and thank you, Captain. Yeah, no problem, we'll anytime. started right away. Sure thing. Anyway, uh, I don't know why I keep forgetting to play this game. It's, it's been so, so long since I played this game. I don't know why. Anyways, enough about me rambling. Let's just go play the damn game. Alright, uh, Asaga, you're up. <clears throat> oh, oh, Captain! Glad to see you up and about. You had us all worried for a sec there. Don't worry, I wouldn't let myself get killed by the likes of Cosmos. Did she hurt you anywhere? Did she hurt you anywhere? The next time I tangle with her, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Just a bump to the head, nothing serious. Oh yeah, the last episode was basically the brutal murder thing. Th that's scum. I'll be sure to get you some payback, Captain. Uh... She's not as bad as you think, Saga. Sorry. No, 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 no. Don't listen to her propaganda, Captain. She's just an evil pirate, that's all. Uh, we've seen basically what happened down there at the planet. I don't think she's that bad. And I, I can't believe I actually still remembered all of what happened last episode. <laughs> it's considering how long it's been since I've played it. I haven't even, I haven't even touched or any, watched any of the episodes. So I'm kind of surprised I still remember everything. We'll pound her to the ground for everyone she's hurt, including you. <laughs> all right, Asaga. If only... Thanks for the concern, but don't worry. I'm all right now. Shields gave Asaga a smile and turned to leave. She grabbed the tail of his coat. No. Aww. Don't do this to... Don't do that to us again. We were all worried. Hmm. I was careless. It won't happen again. Good. Ah. Uh, well then, I better get... A, I better get back to work on my blackjack. We got another big battle, Captain. What happened to why did it become Texan? I don't even know why I'm saying Texan. <laughs> and I'll bet my money that Cosette's gonna show her mug again. And this time, I'll be ready. That's a saga. She never changes. If only she if if only she knew what happened down there. Carry on, a saga. Ah, all right, yo. Heh. <laughs> Can't believe you actually get, let yourself get captured by that little runt. I reiterate. She was being escorted by 40 armed gunmen. We had no choice but to surrender. Uh, the first time you told me, there were just 20 gunmen. Now there's over 40? It was a chaotic situation. You cannot expect me to remember every detail. You guys, will you two ever get along? They probably will. The, the mercenary started it! Er, I mean, sir! Hey, it's not my fault, soldier. It's not my fault, soldier boy got herself captured. Ah, 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 Ikari! Weren't you the one who nearly started crying when you found out? Oh my god. W what? In fact, you then marched down to the armory, strapped more weapons on yourself than you could carry, screaming about s s screaming something about a rescue mission. The commander had to get six guys from security to p finally put you down. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, ever the tundere. Oh my. You, could it be that you actually care about Kriska? No. Eh! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I don't care about... I don't care about anyone. I'm Ikari Isadolde, mercenary of Cold Steel. Uh, that doesn't look like Cold Steel expression if you ask me. I, in fact, you could say I'm just too experienced to care about relationships. And I'm not that I'm interested in that kind of stuff. Because I'm not, you hear? You're turning red. I I'm leaving. The, the Phoenix needs calibrations. A lot of them, by the way. She's always trying to act cool, and yet... I do not always try to tackle. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that amuses me. Like, 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 this, like this. I don't know why. See what I mean? I apologize for the mercenaries' lack of respect, sir. On the other hand, she's always straight least about everything. Uh, carry on, Lieutenant, with whatever you were doing. And Claude. Try to stay out of trouble. You still don't have a license, by the way. Oh, wait. Did you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, so that's the same one. Uh, yo. Sola. Captain. Do the stars answer any of your questions? Hmm, probably not. You wish to talk? The Ruvian Empire of the Earth Time ruled Angus. Tell me, if you were the Shar, would you give the Angusians independence? Hmm? I... I have given such other matters little thought. The Ungessians have suffered under the hands of foreign powers for millennia. 
But we, they will not be able to recover without foreign intervention. Do I have a mouse in there? I'm sorry if I did. No, I guess not. Never mind. To complicate matters, we need their Angusite to win this war. Without it, thousands of lives will be lost. Deaths we can prevent by making better arms with Angusite. Hmm. Such dilemmas came with sitting on the throne of Eurivia, but men craved it, killed for it. But you are different, are you not? You were thrust onto the stage not by choice, but by circumstance. To be emperor was to decide who lived and who died. Such power was inherent to, thr to the throne. But it was always my hope that the man who sat in the Star Palace would be a fair ruler, who made decisions for the good of the empire. Far too many emperors of my time sought riches and glory for themselves at the expense of the people, and perhaps that was why our empire eventually collapsed. Good, th the good for the em the good of the empire, huh? Hmm. Whatever happens, I am sure that you'll make your decision based on what is good for the galaxy. I wonder that is. Terms like the good for the galaxy are hard to define. It could mean anything. Hmm. I am merely a peasant girl, Captain. Please do not expect too much out of me. Although I would prefer if said peasants actually gave me their opinions. I'm just saying. Because an empire can't run without its people. I'm just going to say this out right now. <laughs> Thanks, Sola. I'll come back to you at any time if I need advice. Hmm. Alright, Granny. <laughs> Yo. Ah, Captain. Ah, you're by yourself today. Uh, yes. Saka's been acting strange lately. Maybe because she's in love with my character or something. She's been calibrating the blackjack more often. She's even stopped playing her games and now spends all day practicing in the simulator. Uh, really? That's unusual. Could it be that Asaga's finally decided to grow up? Hmm. <laughs> like, that would ever happen. It's good that, she, it's good that she's taking her duties forward seriously, but I wonder if she's overdoing it. She really can't do anything in moderation. And that's a saga for you. Everyone knows there's another battle coming. We're all doing our best. Hmm. I feel like this one's going to be different. Pac's been acting strange. In what way? They came back with a smaller force after withdrawing. A force that size wouldn't be able to conquer, conquer Angus by itself. I'm not sure what they're after this time. Do you think Cosette's pirates have something to do with it? No doubt. The only strategy I can think of is that Pac plans to see, sneak past our defensive line and hit the combined fleet while it's docked. They'll, they'll try to wear us down for weeks with feints until we finally get careless and we'll let a ship warp past us. It's a waiting game they must be playing. Don't worry, Captain. We won't let anything pass. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi, Saga. Hey, another topic. There's a Saga right there. Ugh. Well, hello there, Captain. Enjoying your lunch break with Chigara? <laughs> I was just trying to figure something some things out. Ooh, I wonder what's on the menu today. Yesterday we even had bulgogi. Ah, Elias Rikosh is a sure are generous, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's getting jealous. Looks like a super spicy curry for me today. The side of even more hot sauce. Listen up, Chigara. The key to victory in war is first to conquer spicy food. A true hero is not born unless you can handle spice. I, uh, see. Saga picked up a tray of curry from the counter. And with that, I'm off. Enjoy your chat together. You're not joining us? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got more scenarios to run on the simulator. Can't let the skills get dull, you know. Who knows when Pac might get attacked again. Might. All right. Uh, what's up? I'm impressed. What's come over you? Oh, nothing. Just a certain pirate to beat uh, and a ship to protect. <laughs> I'm just doing my part to the ship, Captain. See you guys. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, my goodness. My voice is running out. Sometimes I worry about her. No worries, Chigara. I'll talk to her later and find out what's going on. Uh, except I already did it in reverse. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. My goodness, this game's pretty long. I really should have not held off on this forever. Alright, here we go. Captain, we have a situation. We always have situations! When does it never have a situation? Report. We just picked up a new... We just picked up new warp signatures. A pirate fleet has just warped in high orbit around Angus. Red alert. Power our weapons and prepare to launch our riders. Should have figured because that would show her face sooner or later. Size? The largest pirate fleet we've seen yet. We never thought they could organize something that large. They must pull. They must have pulled in ships from over 15 different crime rings. The pack fleet is closing in as well. Seems they were waiting for the pirates to fill their ranks. We are receiving tra a transmission from the pack fleet. Put it through. 
Oh, hi, Captain Shields. A pleasure to finally meet you. I am Venexar B. Fontana of the Crimson Fleet. I am here to retrieve the princess and end your occupation of Angus. I'm afraid that wedding's been annulled. Something about shooting the father-in-law dead during the wedding. Unfortunate. Then it appears that I have no choice but to take her by force. Not so fast, Fontana. We already took care of your friend. Uh, what was his name? The big guy with the mustache? And you're coming at us with less than half the ships he did. There's no way you're going to win this. Hm. Cullen was a mere fool in a stain to our cause. His imperial decadence made him weak-willed and coward. You will find my fleet will be quite different, Captain. Numbers are irrelevant where tactics are concerned. That is true. That's my line. <laughs> I am eager to finally cross cannons with the vanguard of Farport. Uh, cross cannons, huh? <laughs> That's a thing. Prepare yourself. Sure thing. That's enough of, That's enough of the Vedics are fabulous. Ava, put the situation on the screen. Oh, hi. Hi, sir. We have the packed fleet approaching here. The pirate fleet approaches from the bottom. Our forces have been stretched out in a perimeter around the docks. A pincer, huh? The packed fleet must have been biting this time, Wait for, waiting for backup to arrive. We're going to hit a single point on our perimeter and break through and detonate the Angusite in our docks. The Lias fleet will merge their forces here to meet the two fleets, but even then, over half, half, over half our ships won't be able to return fire on the enemy fleets by the time they hit the perimeter. Our only hope is to hold the combined enemy fleet back until the remaining alliance ships arrive. Understood, Captain. All hands, this is the Captain speaking. Assume combat the uh, Blah, I can't even talk. Assume combat stations. Scramble all our riders. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Remember your trading and make us proud. Battle stations! Alright, here we go. Alright, that's right, I can deploy people. I forgot all about that tiny little detail. Uh, these are the pirates, I believe, and this is basically... All right then. Okay, so issue your command. Can I go here? Too far infield. Fuck you. Fuck you. What? How? How? There we go. Uh, are these our allies? Alliance cruiser here. Yeah, you can go here. What can I do for you, Captain? There we go. Uh, they're gonna die. <laughs> uh, so observing the enemy. Yeah, you can go there. I like how you can deploy your Captain. units like this. Like, Today's <laughs> my lucky day! Ready to roll. What, why is this too far in field? Okay, there we go. This uh, had better be worth it. Yes, it is. Shut up. Reporting this, for duty, sir! I can't even deploy over there. Reporting for duty. Holding position, can, sir! You can be there. Alright, I think we're good. Start! I got 3,500. I could actually do a vanguard cannon right now, but I can only hit one, so fuck it. That's not gonna help me. The Sunrider awaits orders. Rockets. Rockets Our away! Whee! Kaboom! <laughs> On target. <laughs> Rockets away! All missiles free. <laughs> what? Our weapons have failed to. Fuck hit. Zach! All right. All s forward. Fuck sake. What do you need, Captain? Uh, a lot of things. Forward and onward. Uh, missile. Ah, fuck it, why not? Try dodging this. Solid, solids might work. More where that came from. Yeah, I'm just doing casual mode now because I'm I'm so 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 far behind. Uh, let's see. Forty-five percent. Yeah, I'll take this guy. It's time to bring out the. I'll take that guy. There we go. Next. I could still. Phoenix oh. reporting. You know, I should have actually switched out the. Oh shit! I did not really think of this. I should have actually switched them out here. He. Ah oh, man, this was terrible. This was a terrible idea. Uh Accelerating. Okay, okay. Can, can I choose? Oh, there you go. Order, sir? Uh kinetic maybe. Uh you. Commencing bombardment. 
Come on! Confirmada! There we go. And a missile on... Oh my goodness, your, ter your aim is just terrible. There we go, much better. Locking onto targets. Missiles away. Wee! Surrender, or I will resume hostilities. Grab him. Oh, I gotta do one more missile. Oh, nice. Nice. We can actually wipe them out as much as we can. I have tone. Firing. Pick and Okay, kaboom. Barely made it. I oh, wicked. Captain. Uh, kinetic. On this guy. Locking onto target. Target successful. Kaboom! Sniper is always Phoenix, good. waiting orders. Stealth mode activated. Accelerating. And I can't even melee. Fuck. Uh, I'm already on stealth mode. Uh, probably I'll here. I'll get there before anyone else. Oh fuck! I can't even. Here we go. Assault on this guy. Weapons free. And that's how it's done. Wow, barely any damage. What the hell? What are we doing? Shield jam or laser? Ah, laser on this guy. The contract didn't say anything about this. But well, doesn't matter. Shield jam on this guy. Good enough. I'm here. What can I reporting for duty? Please report for your duties, man. Thank you. All hands, brace for combat. Come on. And one missile for this Firing guy. Firing weapons. And kaboom. All right, all right, all right. Blackjack, good to Captain, go. Captain, you better keep your eyes on. Onward we go. Do you need something scanned, Captain? Uh, I need to disable one of these things. Fuck, I don't Lights know. Lights off. All right, enter. Back phase. An electronic attack. Fuck Such sake. a dishonorable tactic. <laughs> My rider just We're made a weird fire. sound. You're what? Our hull is holding. Ah, we're good. Our hull is holding. Ah, we're good. All right. Well, uh. Blackjack, good to go. We could laser the crap out of these guys. Gonna light this place up. Pew, 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 pew. Aha, I did it. And assault on that guy, maybe. Nah, maybe. Clearing the road. Brrr. Hey, that's good. You're watching me, Captain. Uh, what was kinetic again? Sixty. Shotgun. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> Foolish Claude. How can I help? I, I, I don't understand I'm languages. Electronic warfare. The Sunrider is at your disposal, Cap. We will engage the enemy face to face. And I'm going to. Oh, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. I should have done that. Cancel movement. Uh. Reverse course. No, 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 no. This is one. Uh, short range warp. On here. Whee! Vanguard cannon! <laughs> Prepare to fire the Vanguard cannon. Vanguard cannon! Vanguard, fire. <laughs> Kaboom! At your command. And I can still do attacks, so I'm gonna do attacks. Actually, wait, I'm gonna do a uh, rocket. The enemy will be neutralized. Eee! Reduce that shit. Thank you. The attack is successful. And you're done. Charge Trinities. Fire. Bing. On target. Victory on an easiest difficulty. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. Ten thousand eight hundred thirty turns. Current difficulty visual novel mode. Lowest difficulty visual novel. Mode. <laughs> oh, I'm such a terrible person. But hey, I don't think anybody was playing this game. Well, actually, some people do. Mission complete, Captain. The enemy force has been decimated. The Alliance fleet is steadily getting, gaining on the enemy. Send a message to the packed flagship. 
Hey, you see Fontana? Now, why don't you stick your tail between your legs and just scurry back to New Eden? You ever, you overestimate yourself, Captain. You have quite an interesting vessel. I believe it was instrumental in winning the far port, Battle of Farport, was it not? Captain, we're detecting new warp signatures. Uh-oh. An assault carrier. Swift as a battle cruiser and sported by a squadron of riders like her, like a carrier. Oh, wait. That's Fontana. Sorry. Capable of both lightning strikes and long-range operations. Quite impressive, considering it was made by a single neutral rim world. Now, imagine not a single prototype vessel, but an entire fleet of advanced warships built with the resources of all the worlds of the People's Alliance. Hi! Hi! Whoa, 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 whoa! There's way too many! Fontana! This is the end for you, Captain. It's a trap! The initial pack fleet was merely a decoy, Captain! Regroup our forces! Engage the new ships! Alrighty! No wonder that battle was easier. Well, actually, that's still easy. <laughs> uh, let's see. What can do, do the most damage? If I actually go here... The Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. No, wait. wait. Yes, Captain. Can yes, I actually Captain. go here? Oh, I can. All systems are green. Oh, I still can. The Sunrider is at, at your command. Okay. Oh, I, I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, you know what must be done, ladies and gents. You know what Reporting must be done. Duty. Okay. Thank you. What are we doing? We are doing things. Actually, wait. I want you a little bit behind. Reporting for duty. Here. What are we doing? Uh, any... This had better be worth it. Too far infield. Fuck sake. Awaiting orders, sir! Uh, Observing the enemy. Go there. Wait, are there more enemies? I need to know. They're probably gonna be spreading out left and right here, but uh, I think Ready I'll be fine. Ready to roll! No, too far infield. Fuck. I think I need to move. Uh, no, actually, wait. I don't have to. I don't have oh, to. Oh, command me, Captain! Shall and I compute something for you? There we go. That's fine. Let's start. With one hell of Vanguard Cannon! <laughs> Prepare to fire the Vanguard Cannon! <gasps> Vanguards, fire! Come on, bitch! <laughs> the Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. Well, I can't really do anything about turn two. So. Observing the enemy. Uh, kinetic damage on... Actually, I'm gonna awaken first. That'll do you... Reporting for duty. Uh, missile... On you. All hands, brace for combat. I can't believe they actually got the reload right away. Um. Oh wait, no. I, I want kinetic. Uh, you. 60%. Open fire. Good hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. What? I'm not doing this because I like you. Uh, I I'll didn't ask for that. Before anyone else. Uh, Millie. Uh, you. Prepare yourself. Whee! Blonk. All too easy. All right, Max. Reporting for duty, sir. Kinetic, kinetic. I'll this guy. the might of the Solar Alliance. Hit boom, 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 boom. And missile on this guy. Walking onto targets. Missiles away. Whee! Surrender, or I will what? resume hostilities. What? 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 I have oh. tone. Firing. Fuck's sake. Hit confirmed. 480. That's fine. Uh. Captain. Report. What are we doing? Laser. Oh, uh, and the guy who was about to die. Talk this over. Nope, we're not talking this over. Room for negotiation is done. Uh, let's see. All systems are green. Yes, thank you. All missiles free. Kaboom! On target. That'll take care of that. And I'll leave them. Our missiles are away. Should have gotten with kinetic though. I think. I'll... We have struck the I enemy. I definitely knew. I. Whoa! 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 The Sunrider oh, awaits orders. Uh, pulse maybe. Yeah, Commencing fire. The shield will definitely catch all that though. So. On target. Eh, I didn't do much. Eh, it's fine though. 
Shall I compute something for you? Laser. Y Let's kill them off already. This is my least favorite part. Well, maybe you should probably actually start making it your favorite part. Hit the enemy. Oh, fuck's sake. Just kill it off. I'm glad that's over. All right, that's killed. Next. At your command. I hear you loud and clear. Missile on this guy. Fly, my children. Children flown. Uh -huh. I did it. All right. Oh, command me, Captain. Uh, aim down on this Don't guy. Don't underestimate me. And aim on, aim down on that and guy too. And lights go off. Uh, wait, what was it again? And here, here we go. Blackjack, good to go. Laser, maybe? No, actually, wait. Yeah, laser, laser. Pew pew pew. Yo, yo, yo. You're one for the good guys. Not bad. I'll take that. Anybody else yes, can Captain. move? I hear you Anything loud and clear. Nobody, nobody, Reporting nobody. Yes, okay. There's still only two of them. <laughs> Too slow. Neener, neener, neener. Our hole is holding. Eh, so far so good. Our hole is holding. Ah, it's fine. Oh, there's one more. I thought there was only two of them. Proxy. Phoenix Energy. reporting. Stealth time. Afterburners activated. Let's go. One cut, one kill. One cut, one kill. Here we go. Ikari Isidol. Remember. Isidol. Okay. I, I don't know why I th saw. It. I don't know why I thought it was Is Isidol. Say hello to my friend! This is my command. Prepare to fire the Vanguard cannon. Vanguards, fire! FIRE! <laughs> I am so evil. Oh, match! <laughs> I'm going to... I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Had to do a few things. Let's continue. Please tell me this is all it is. We've sank all the ships in our area. However, the Alliance fleet is still facing substantial resistance from the enemy. You guys suck. Fontana, it's over. Your new toys are gone. Surrender or we'll scrap your entire fleet. Oh my goodness. Hmm. No, it is our victory. What? Hi. <laughs> Did you forget about me already, Captain? Ah, oh, shit. Warning. New pirate signatures. What? Where? From inside the Angus habitat stations. All riders, it's go time! Enemy riders are flying out from the orbital habitats. They must have been hiding inside them all this time. <laughs> Fontana and the Fontana and the pirate fleets were just decoys. Now the combined fleet is as vulnerable as sitting ducks. Get the situation on screen. Oh hi. There's the pirate bombers. Hi, orbital habitats. Oh my goodness. The alliance fleet has merged with he here to counter the enemy fleets. Cassette and a battalion of bomber riders approach from orbital habitats. Time until they intercept our docks, four minutes. Fall back! Intercept Cosette and her bombers. We are entangled with Fontana's forces. There's no way we'll be get back in time. They got him. <laughs> How disappointing, Captain. I expected more from the victor of our port. In one fell swoop, every alliance ship of the combined fleet will be cast into the hellfire. Of the very Angus site they, stole, they sought to steal from Angus. Poetic justice, is it not? A fitting end to their imperialistic ambitions in the neutral rim. Just as the Imperials before them, they will not fall to our cannon fire, but to the fruits of their own greed. For the systematic exploitation of the weak is but a cancer, which will eventually consume their body unless it is cleansed with fire. Now, Captain, behold Pact's true goal. The eradication of the imperialists and the birth of our new galaxy order. Hi. The Angus attack the Angus attacks are in range. This is for you, Captain. You were always my favorite. Ah <laughs> uh, shit. Shit The enemy riders have begun their attack. The combined fleet is being sunk. 
Cat catastrophic losses are being reported. Your orders, Captain? Shields clenched his fists. Fontana! It is over, Captain. The Alliance fleet is lost. Your ship will be seized and the princess returned to Arcadius. As for you, you will stand trial for your crimes against humanity. Cosmos tells me you are responsible for quite a number of civilian deaths on Angus. Aye, not yet. So, the Great Grey of the Admiral Fleet finally speaks. Have you come to discuss the terms of surrender? You little punk. Don't think you're the first commander to tear a raised sword against me. But you're still young. Sit down, boy, and let me show you war. Captain, I'm detecting radiation charges from the coming from the combined fleet. I've just ordered every Alliance ship to arm their nuclear torpedoes and on. Whoa! What? These are my terms. Tell your little pirate friend to turn around and scurry back to the rat holes he called crawled out of. And as for you, take your ships back to New Eden and shore up your defenses. You'll need them to escape the coming hellfire, or else I'll drop nukes. I'll drop enough nukes on Angus to make it grow brighter, brighter than the sun for the next millennia. You cannot be serious, Admiral. A man of the Alliance would not mass murder 40 billion civilians. Try me, boy. Tch. He's bluffing. We can wipe out the entire Alliance fleet here and now. Hmm. You have the count of three to withdraw your forces. One. Don't listen to him. He's too much of a coward to fire. Fontana! Hmm. All ships are the, all their ships are gathered here. We'll never get another chance like this. We need to end the Alliance's military supreme supremacy in just a, 15 more seconds. This will be the end of the Alliance and the beginning of a new era. Two. We'll all die if it means the end of the Alliance. Independence or death. Just give us more te 10 more seconds. We can do this. Uh. Oh shit. Who do I want? Shit balls. <laughs> Do I want the victory and cause mass murder? Or do I let the Alliant enemy retreat? Fuck's sake! <laughs> oh my goodness! This is like Selena and Harvey dead all over again. Although this predates it more, but... Oh my goodness, I just had that game! I just had to do that game! What the hell? Ah... Uh... Uh, do I be the man or do I, do I actually, <laughs> do I actually say <laughs> this is too much of a madness in shenanigans or do I let the alliance win but cause mil billions of murder? He's got a campaign. I, I, he, I, I can't let him. All units hold fire and warp to the fallback coordinates. Cosmos, redraw your forces. You idiot! A victory at the cost of Angus is no victory at all, but a catastrophic defeat. We have hurt the combined fleet enough. We will reserve our forces for another opportunity. Another opportunity like this won't ever come! Enough, Cosmos. If you care for the plight of your people at all, then order your you then you will order your ships to retreat. Ah! Fuck you, Fontana! As for you, Captain, once I get my hands on you and your crew, I'll tie up all your little lovers, and then I'll you, and I'll have you watch as I slowly remove one body part after another from them. And then I'll feed you them to you until you crave nothing but the meat of your comrades. And once you're finally a broken shell of your former self, I'll keep you around as a slave. And you'll do nothing more than, but adore me as your master. You'll regret ever fucking with me! Oh boy. All units, break off and warp away to the fallback point. We've done enough for today. Oh my goodness. The enemy fleets are falling back. Plan worked. Uh, stop all combat operations and prepare to assist with salvage and recovery. Shields fair, fell to his chair. Uh, all enemies have warped out of the system. And our status? Substantial damage to our docks. We have uncontrollable Angusite leads at nearly 40% of their tanks. Altogether, we've lost nearly 120 battle cruisers during, at during the attack. That's nearly 30% of our entire fleet. This, uh, this attack was grave, but we have avoided the worst of it. I will regroup our forces. More reinforcements are due from our core world soon. Fear not, Captain. With this crisis averted, we will be able to push further into the pack occupied territories planned. I believe Sarah is not that far away now, is it? No. Well then, we best get to work. Wait, which one did they choose? Fuck! Which one did they choose? Yeah, that was it. 
Oh fuck. Yeah. I, anyway. There we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to work. Here we go. Sorry. I had to check. Which, I had to check if that was the cor- if that was the choice I made because it didn't look like it. News of the second battle of Angus has hit the holiday. What's the response? Virtually every universalist affiliated news source is calling it a resounding victory and further proof that Pact is losing the war. With this, Pact has been defeated at Farport and twice at Angus. Many are drawing parallels between this war and the Alliance Imperial War, which led to the creation of the Solar Alliance. Once again, the free people of the Alliance will unite to defeat a tyrant who seeks to rule all of mankind. And just like 200 years ago, a great grey will lead the, lead the Alliance to total victory against the forces of evil. Or so they say. In the, li- in the latest Onion poll published by All Alliance News, Admiral Grey has had Admiral Grey g- gained four points in his standing. He now soundly dominates the polls at forty-eight points against Progress candidate Frandall's thirty-seven points. Okay, that was good because that was what I was planning. That also was a thing. All in all, this election's hardly even a competition anymore. Uh, are you feeling all right, Captain? Yeah. From the moment they nuked Zero City, Pact lost its claim to the moral high ground. Whatever their propaganda machine they may spurt, they are a menace to the galaxy. But if we did the same thing, we would not be any different from Pact anyway. So, stopping the Admiral was a good choice. Well, it's not like we could stop the Admiral anyway, because the Admiral basically has shenanigans. But at the very least, we did things. We must use whatever means necessary to end Arcadius, or else he will do the same thing to us. If the is secured, it will be Arcadius who knows fear. Captain. Ah. Uh. That will be all, Commander. Ah. But what about you, Kato? Oh! Here we go! First name basis! I'm the captain. My duty is to my crew. Ah. Once the war is over, we will wash our hands and clean and return to our civilian lines. But until then, we will show no quarter. Understood, Captain. First name basis! Here we go! Oh, hi! Sheets, shields... Sheets, really? Shields stat with Chigara in his quarters for another round of tea. Boot out Chigara and give me somebody else like Sola. Damn it. Did I let the crew down, Chigara? What do you mean, Captain? He outmaneuvered me. This Fontana. He's a foe deadlier than anyone we've encountered so far. He predicted every one of my moves even before the battle began. We got lucky this time. What will happen next time? Next time, you'll be ready. He had the benefit of surprise this time. He won't be able to, he won't ever be able to do that again now. Shields fingered his teacup. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> Please, I'm pretty sure it's not in that way, but come on. Why does war turn good people into monsters? Fontana, he's a good man, and Grey is no murderer either. And yet, when the lives of those around us are in danger, we must make decisions which we, will, we ordinarily would never make. Decisions to mur- murder billions of lives. Decisions to ignore atrocities. Decisions to condemn innocents to death. Ah. Uh. That's what separates leaders from followers, Captain. Whatever you decide, I know it will be for the greater good. I want to save and actually uh, check out whatever it is for the other route, but I'm just going to do, do that later. Uh. You'll always be my hero, Captain. Uh. Hey, I'm sorry to disappoint. Hmm. You never disappoint. Chigara stroked Shield's arm. Oh my goodness. Uh. No matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Chigara. Shields embraced Chigara and held her close. The scent of her hair was his sole comfort against the against the growing darkness in his heart. Why, Chigara? Boot out, Chigara! Give me Sola instead! This will be over soon. Once Sarah is freed once more, we'll put our weapons down. Then maybe we'll finally be able to start that bakery of yours. No, I don't want Chigara! <laughs> You're making me blush, Captain. Damn it all! I don't want Chigara. Hi, 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 hi. Hey, come on. No, don't do this to me. Kato, you killed me. You killed all of us. Is that her little sister? Is that his little sister? No, I didn't kill any one of you. Shields jolted awake. Uh, Marie. He stumbled out of bed and splashed himself with water. Uh, I didn't kill her. Shields uncapped a bottle of vodka and put pour, poured himself a shot. We are the greatest force of freedom. We are the greatest force of freedom in the history of the galaxy. Sit down, boy, and let me show you war. 
You will withstand. You will stand trial for your crimes against humanity. Your orders, Captain. Your orders. Your orders, sir. Captain, what do we do? I don't know. Shields gripped his glass. I don't know. Good morning. Give me the situation. Oh my goodness, the the war is really taking out the toll on him. We're holding position just outside of Angus, investigating leads as to Cosette's current whereabouts. Further, we received a new mission. All right. The mining union has been encountering difficulties shipping parts and equipment to the Alliance due to pack interdiction forces. They request that we escort one of their transport ships out of Tridaria until it is in warp sequ space. That is all, Captain. Thanks for the report. Carry on, Ava. Ah, boy. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, deck zero. Oh my goodness, everybody else is here. Uh, let's call the... Let's call and give... S no, I don't want to wish all. Oh, yeah, nope. I, I think the wish all is... The wish all is probably going to be important. Today. Give me that. I, I can't buy anymore. Fuck it. Uh... Yeah, I need... There we go. Oh, I, I, I maxed out everybody. That's good. Alright, return. And... Actually, I probably want to... Welcome to can research I upgrade and anything? I can. I'm sorry, Captain, but we don't have enough funds for that. Damn it all. A laser might be good, actually. I'm gonna upgrade a laser. Thank you, Captain. We'll right, get started uh, right away. Well, let's chat to everybody else. Ooh, ooh, fancy seeing you here, Captain. Need something? Just making sure everything's all right. <laughs> no need to worry about me. Everything is tip-top shape. No worry. We'll smash up that legion. That's just like we smashed up pork chops back at Farport. Chikara tells me that you've been acting differently. Oh, did Chikara tell you that? Eh. <laughs> Well, I just realized we haven't been taking things seriously enough, you know. I'm just a ran I'm not just a random girl anymore. There's a lot of people counting on me. I know it's far away, but one day we're going to liberate we're gonna liberate Ruvia Prime from the pack. And then I'll have to leave lead everyone just like my mother father and mother before me. Blah, 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 blah. I know I'm not exactly cut out for that kind of stuff, but I still gotta try my heart best. Wow, really? I'm impressed, Isaga. Shields laughed and pat Asa patted Asaga on the head. You've really come a long way. Stop it, Captain. If you do that, I'll... Huh? Uh, uh, just cry. And nothing. I'm the Queen of Ruvia, you know. I'll let you know that normally patting the Queen of Ruvia on the head is a capital offense. Even though you're a starship captain. But since you're my captain, I'll, let, I'll just let you off with a warning. Your liege, I'm grateful for your generosity. Oh my goodness, Asaga. Asaga, Asaga, Asaga. Sola! Ah. S Sola? What are you doing here? Shields grabbed Sola away and whispered to her. Uh, Claude wouldn't have done anything weird weird to you by chance, would she? Weird? You know, like poke holes in your embarrassing places or touch you for no apparent reason? Uh, C Captain? Ah, crap. That totally came out wrong. Captain, sh 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 shut up! I was merely giving Sola the finest medication, medical attention that the ship has to offer, and yet you feel the need to lob th these scandals, accusations, at a hardworking professional my like myself. Uh, kind of did that things to me, so I kind of am suspicious. It's one of part of that outfit you're wearing as professional. Yeah, why? Why? Sola, the I, the captain, with an ease. Wait, Sola, I didn't mean it like that. Claude's, Claude here's been arrested for medical malpractice more times than you can count. I was just making sure. Oh, Captain, I still remember the day when I came on board your ship. You led me to the sick bay, then forced me to do this and that as payment for saving me from those pirates. Did not. I became a shamed woman that day. I will never forget it. You were already a shamed woman by the day you were born. Uh... Sola zeroed in on Claude in skeptical eyes. I did not do any of that shit. She made that up. See, Claude? Ugh. Betrayed by my own comrade in arms. I'll just go sulk in a corner now. Anyways, what were you doing with Sola? 
I wish to investigate more how I came to awaken this time. While the easiest explanation would be that I was in cold sleep for two millennia, I have always harbored doubts as to whether a fe- such a feat would be possible, even with the technology of my time. Therefore, I had a doctor perform some tests to determine the exact duration of time I was in cold sleep. Based on most recent sets of tests, the doctor believes I was frozen for merely three months. What? Three months? The findings have baffled me as well. The circumstances around my survival have been inexplicable. My body should have been vaporized the instant the final tear was activated. Either she got time displaced, or this is a clone with all her memories. The mere fact that I was pulled to cold sleep is an anomaly in of itself. The duration of my sleep only further complicates the mystery. Uh, are you sure you're from 2,000 years ago? Uh, Captain, you hurt Sola's feelings. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Much better. Well, there was a change the fact that you're with us now. Hmm. Eh? You better stop that, Captain. Or you'll else you'll have an entire squadron of jealous girls after you. Only you're interested in that, you dork. I remember my timeline as clear as day. Further, this world is as foreign to me as my time would be to you. Yet, I have no recollection of how I was put to cold sleep mere months ago or how I even entered your timeline in the first place. Then... Like I said, it's e- she's either a clone or she got time displaced. <laughs> the lost technology we've seen so far have had seemingly magical properties. Maybe it had something to do with it. That seems possible. However, I will continue my research before forming any conclusions. Alright, tell me what you find. I'm curious too now. I will, Captain. Alright, and yo. Hey, Captain. How's it going? Just enjoying the view before the storm hits. Rumor has it that you are cooking up a plan to sink the beast once and for all. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Hey, here's a tip from someone who knows. Don't do, don't be so twisted up all the time. Hmm? Look, you pretend to be all smiles with the crew, but we all see those dark clouds gathering over your head. Honestly, it's starting to make me uneasy too. Uh, I won't let it affect my judgment. You know, when it happened to me, I was just 12 years old. The Alliance helped me out a bit, let me survive, but after I turned 16, I was out of the system. It messes you up. I turned to crime, experimented with some stuff I shouldn't have. Killed a man for my 18th birthday. Figured out I had a talent for it. Started to ring with this boy and his band of pirates. Was fun for a while. Made some quick bucks. Last I saw of him, he rammed his flaming orbital skiff into an Alliance cruiser. Didn't even dent the armor. (laughs) Hmm. You regret all that? Regret, huh? Uh. Yeah. All this feels like the only thing that makes you happy is killing the bastards responsible for it all. But at the bottom of it, there is not a goddamn thing in the world which was going to bring them back. Hmm. She'll slap Ikari on the back. Ow. Well, that won't be too down. We've got more reds to kill. Are you even listening, Captain? <laughs> you're hopeless. Yeah, and you're at Sundari. Alright, what do we got? Darbell! She'll put the picture frame of Mar- Mary-, Mary back down. Come in! Am I interrupting something? No, I was just having my angst period. No, what do you have? This latest battle of reports from the Alliance. Thanks. The Alliance has made further gains against Pact since the second battle of Angus. Latest intel suggests Arcadius is gathering his forces at Sarah for a final stand before the Alliance enters Pact territory. So Sarah will be the decisive battle of this war. If Sarah is liberated, the Alliance will be poised to launch strikes into Pact's world. That's a situation not which even not which not even Arcadius will take lightly. They'll have to realize the Alliance cannot be defeated once that happens. His only options would be either to sue for peace or risk total annihilation. The Alliance has never fought a war be- beyond the neutral rim in its entire history. It seems inconceivable they plan to conquer all of Pact space. Grey doesn't fight a war unless he intends to win. Hmm. I have a look at the picture frame. It's been a long fight, but it seems like the end is in sight. Ah. Uh, I would have preferred to celebrate her birthday on Sarah. Doesn't look like we'll make it on time. Ava put her hands on Shield's shoulder. Ava? Mm. These shoulders have carried much. Isn't it time to let some things go? Uh. Not yet. Not while a crimson flag flies over our he- home. Not yet. Mm. I have nothing further. See ya.
<laughs> hmm. Cry. No? No crying? Okay. Eleven years ago. Oh my goodness. Ding dong! Ding dong! Kato sat with Ava in an empty classroom. The curtains fluttered in the breeze as the twilight poured in through the window. Oh my goodness! Young Ava! Oh my goodness! Hey, Kato. Hmm? It's late. Everyone's le- Everyone else has already left. Yeah. But you still have that stack of paperwork to do, right? Besides, the graduation ceremony is coming up. We've got a lot of work to do. Huh. Nobody else seems to think so. Because you never ask for help. You always try to handle everything by yourself. Oh, now it's the opposite! <laughs> Back then it was her, but now it's the opposite. I see. I see where this is going. You know, that just makes you look stuck up. You should stop. Heh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But deep down, I know you want me to stay here. Because there's nothing Ava Crescentia likes less than having to fill out paperwork by her lonesome. Idiot. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. And there we go. I'd say that's good enough for today. Ava stared at the stack of paperwork. Don't worry. I'm sure you filled them all out properly. Mm. Come on. Let's go. I have to pick, up, pick Marie up from her lessons. Mm. Come on. Kato grabbed Ava by the arm and pulled her away. But I should double check. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. What's this? What's this on the top right? Is that another sh game that they've made or something? Uh, Fair LT? I, I can't make out. Or is that fault? Must be fault. Anyway, that, what, will, what else do we have here? Ice, Ice Plague... Audio Jam, Electron, Sasuga, <laughs> Solar Heart, uh, Solar Heart, sorry, Shoppers. What the hell are these things? I wish Ava could actually move away here for a bit. The two walk through the winter chill. Here, take this. Kato handed Ava a scarf. Don't eat it. I can see your breath in the air. He wrapped it around her neck. It's already winter, damn it. Everyone's gonna be buried in snow. Everything's gonna be buried in snow again soon. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Hmm. You figured out what you're gonna do after graduation? Not really. Tell me once everything's decided. Hmm. It's gonna be tough without you, Prez. The school's gonna miss you. Hmm. Hardly. The two arrived at the concert hall. Your sister still plays music? Yeah, she's gotten quite good. I should take you to one. I should take you to one of her concerts. Hmm. Oh hi, Kato. Ready? Uh huh. The three of them walked home. The maestro scolded the maestro scolded me scolded me again for dozing off. Really? I thought he liked you. I don't think so. He's always saying I'm slow down. I slow down too much. But I think the song sounds better that way. <laughs> Snowflake fell from the sky. Ooh, ooh look, Kato! Oh, snow! I wish it was snowing, but it doesn't snow here in Coos Bay unless it's only like once a year or once every two, three years. It's snow. So it is. The next thing I know, I won't be able to do. I won't be able to do. I won't be able to go to school anymore because our door will be frozen so closed. Blah, I can't even talk. Mm, you're so weak against the cold, Kato. I can build snow forts and have snowball fights. Can't believe we haven't figured out how to build a dome over Sarah City in this day and age. That would be no fun. Ugh. Meanie. I'll take a hot beach over the cold any day. Too bad we don't have much of that here. I bet Ava likes the snow, um, snow more than you. Don't you, Ava? Hmm. It's not bad. See? You traitor. Idiot. Where's the snow? The trio arrived at the air apartment. Your dad's out on deployment again, isn't he? Come on, my mom wants you wants you over for dinner. I shouldn't intrude. No choice. It's a direct order from mom. I want Ava over too. Mm. Your dad wanted this too. And I guess I have no choice. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the reminiscence. <laughs> the calm woke shields from his memories. Captain, you, Captain, you're needed on the bridge. I'll be right there. Hey, Ava. Report. I've just received a priority one message from the Alliance. One of their spy drones just returned a sighting of the Legion in the Hellion system. Hellion? That's quite detached from the theater of war. 
What they're doing so far from the action? Unknown. Whatever it is doing, it's not charity work. Is the Alliance already taking action? Admiral Ray has rushed four fleets to his last known possession. We have been in contact to scout the situation before, before, yeah, before the Alliance ships arrive. Can't even talk. Set a course. Aye, Captain. Aye, Legion. My apologies, my leader. Admiral Ray turned out a far more treacherous villain than I could have imagined. Had it not been for his vile guile, we could have liberated Angus, rescued the princess, and sank the entire combined fleet in one stroke. Fontana, you are still but a boy. Well, you don't look all that old to me. I do not know what evil lies in the hearts of the imperialists. They are but a maelstrom of greed and perversion, bubbling inside faces which only resemble men. Oh, like I want to talk. Forgive me. I shall not fail again. Very well. Your idealism is a virtue to our cause. We will forgive any mistake which arouse out of a desire to see our creed fulfilled. You are too kind, my Venexar. There is a project we have been working on. You will accompany us to oversee its completion. You will leave New Eden? We already left four days ago. Tell us, do you know of the Paradox Project? First time I've heard of it. Of course. I guess not. A failed lab experiment which crushed the di diode inside a black hole. A failure? Nay. They say that the greatest scientific discoveries are those found by accident. Come with us. So soon, we will unveil a new weapon against the Alliance. One that will allow us to turn the tide of this war and strike terror into the hearts of every imperialist from Solar Solaris to Farport. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, Kato. Oh, my goodness. More flashbacks. Yeah? Do you like me? Wh what? That kind of question is that is that all of a sudden? Hmm. I wonder. Love's just a chemical reaction. When certain conditions are met, chemicals are released into our bloodstream which simula simulates the sensation of love. Huh? Are we any different from ro than robots then? Running on chemicals which simul stimulate simulate our existence? existence? You're not making any sense, Ava. Your eyes are transmitting electronic information of what you see to your brain. But how do you know any of this is true? Our reality is just a situation of what really exists. Because it hurts my head to think otherwise. Ava sat on the desk and looked out the window. There are, multiple, there are multiple trillions of us living in more worlds than we can count. In the scheme of things, each of one, each one of us is insignificant. And yet, why do we believe we have we each have our own destiny? Because we're all free people. That's why. Oh, you're gonna make us question things, aren't you, Ava? Hmm. You have all. You always have to make simple things be so complicated. Oh, of course I like you. You're reliable. I get a feeling that you can accomplish anything. Huh. idiot. I wasn't asking that. What? I merely. I merely enjoy talking about things which go over your head. What? Why you listen here? Eva gave Kito an icy stare. This is why you don't have any friends. Hmm. Dummy. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, hi, Ava. Oh, Captain. We've arrived at the Legion's last known coordinates. Uh, sorry, Ava. Uh, just had this weird dream when we were kids and everything, and uh, yeah, I figured you were still at Sundari back then. Jeez. Power down all non-essential systems. Give us a low profile. As of now, we're engaged in set shadow operations. Aye, Captain. I want long-range scans around the clock. If you see anything suspicious, relay it to my office immediately. Camera, Captain. Admiral Raid informs me that Alliance reinforcements are 45 hours out. In the, bit, in the meantime, he bids you good hunting. Give him our regards, Lieutenant. Sir! All hands, this is the Captain speaking. As of now, we are engaged in shadow ops. Our prey is the packed Super Dreadnought Legion. If enemies fire power, fire our classes are our own. We cannot afford another close call like Angus. That ship reduced Sarah City into a flaming crater in the blink of an eye, and it will do the same to us if we are not careful. Whatever it is that pack is plotting out here, we will get to the bottom of it of and unravel. Shields out! Captain, begin the operation. I'll be in my office. Understood. And that's it going... TV for this episode. I've been recording for an entire hour and five minutes by now. Six minutes and count. Six minutes approaching, actually. So this is where I'm going to save my game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the other videos I've done in the description down below or at the annotations at the end of this video. Like it if you like it, dislike it, dislike it, comment, subscribe, push every single button you see down there. And I do apologize for delaying this episode for so long, guys. Uh, but it's been really, it's a, it's it's really been a while. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
Oh, fuck's sake. No, wait, reverse! No, don't do this to me! I already had problems with the previous stage! Oh, thank you. The mysterious factory! Continue. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Doyo 1! And launch! No! Doyo 1! Get back here, Doyo 1! I'm up. I'm up. Stage clear. Stage clear. Stage clear.